What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layton in the Curious Village Blind. In the last episode, we kind of wrapped up some loose ends, tied up some loose ends, and completed all 120 puzzles. We finished up moving around some furniture in the inn, and we had a pretty good time doing it. <laughs> um, but, just as you guys are, I am looking forward to seeing the end of this story. Um, seeing, you know, the entirety of the secret behind Flora, and the Baron, and the Golden Apple, and everything it may entail. So here we are at the top floor of the tower, and I won't waste any more of your time. Let's hop in there and see what's going on. Oh, would you look at that? Return to the village to explore more is green, and I believe that's because we've completed all of the puzzles. Very neat. I appreciate that they do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue into the house. Oh man, I'm so excited, guys. What kind of person would live in a place like this? Unbelievable, just look at this room. This stuff in here has to be worth gazillions. This must be the top floor that Bruno spoke of. So we might be standing in the same room as the golden apple at this very moment? I've been waiting for you two. Of course, it, of course. It's you! What's this? What's going on here? My boy, what you see here is the golden apple herself. Whoa, plot twist. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not a surprise that this is Flora, but it is really cool to see her, her character design, you know, come to life. You're the golden apple? Professor, you knew about this? I had an inkling. Don't you see how genius it is, though? The Baron didn't write the will to find a successor to his fortune. His true aim was to find a worthy guardian for his daughter, and he was willing to put his whole fortune on the line to do so. Yes. My name is Flora. I've been waiting here in the tower for so long. Were you locked up in here the whole time? Oh no, but before Papa passed, he told me that I should wait here until someone from outside St. Mysterio came for me. Papa said that whoever came for me would be someone I could trust with my life. So that's why you kept watching us move about town. What was that? That was the loud noise again, right? What's going on? Hmm? Oh! <laughs> of course! Here I come. This madman. Come on, Layton, we gotta save the day! Before he... he takes down the entirety of the tower. Oh, so destructive. Of something that was so beautiful, filled with so many great puzzles, and led to this wonderful tower. Oh, or led to this wonderful top floor with... with Flora. Follow me, we must evacuate this tower immediately. What now? I mean, I highly doubt they're going to be able to run down in time. I love it, Layton putting his brain to the test to save the day. What are we going to do? What is he going to do? I've got it! Just wait a moment, Flora. Is he going to craft something, or is there some sort of evacuation device he is going to assume exists in this room, or, or what? Yes. 
Oh, he's gonna make a parachute. Oh my goodness! Not a parachute, but a glider? goes the tower. Hey, Flora's hanging in there. Oh, so heartwarming. There it is. Oh my goodness, can we take a second to talk about that? That was so hype. Layton's so smart, thinking on the fly, not just like, oh, can we you know, safely fall with this, but builds a glider that looks so cool and functions so well, and not only avoids Don Paulo, but instead takes him out? Oh man falls to his, you know, falls and glides safely, jumps out just before it hits the ground and, and rolls with Flora. I didn't know I was going to be getting Shonen vibes from, from Professor Layton. How can Professor Layton, such a sweet and innocent and genuinely nice and incredibly smart character, seem, seem so cool in such a moment? Oh, love it. Love it. Anyways, Luke is here. We finally reunited. Glad to see he had made it down the tower safely himself. Thank goodness you're alright, Professor. Don Paolo's flying contraption was something else. I really thought we were done for back there. Yes, it was all quite dodgy, but he also provided us with the answer to one of our ongoing mysteries. Do you remember that awful noise we heard the first time we, re we visited Reinhold Manor? The one that spooked Claudia? Oh, so that must have been the noise. You put it together. The wreck it was likely Don Paolo's contraption making a crash landing. If that's the case, then we now know the approximate time of Don Paolo's entrance into St. Mysterio. Oh, that makes perfect sense. It figures then that Franco wouldn't have noticed Don Paolo's entrance. So, if Flora is the golden apple that everyone's been looking for, I love they're still solving mysteries at the very end. That means the treasure that Lady Dolly and the others were chasing never existed in the first place. No, I'm fairly certain they weren't mistaken. I do believe a fortune is hidden somewhere within this town. But the Baron would need to hide it somewhere only the Golden Apple would know to look. You mean that Flora knows where the treasure is hidden? I'm sorry, but I don't know about a treasure or anything like that. Let's head back to Reinhold Manor one more time. I suspect we'll clear everything up there. Is it by Violet's grave, or...? Oh man, so that solves the noise. I did not anticipate that, but it makes sense. Professor, do you really think the treasure could be located here? Look closely at this painting, Luke. I'm sure it holds the key to the Reinhold fortune. Hmm, but I've already looked at it. If we solve this mystery, Luke, I'm certain we'll come face to face with the Reinhold treasure. Touch the painting where the golden apple is hidden. Well, I'm fairly confident it was based on the uh, that tattoo or, or whatever mark we saw on Flora herself. So I'm thinking we're gonna go with that. I remember now, it's right here. Aha! A hidden switch. Glad we didn't get that last puzzle wrong. <laughs> the switch seems to have activated the wall. Oh, 
Oh man. And to think that Reinhold Manor held the secret behind this painting all along. It looks like there's a passage that leads farther in. Oh. Let's see where this passage goes. Oh my goodness! Look at this place! I had no idea. Now how in the world did you know that the switch was hidden in the painting? Listen closely, Luke. Wisdom wasn't the only thing Baron Reinhold required of potential guardians for his only daughter. <clears throat> you saw it too, did you not? That peculiar mark on her neck that only appeared once she laughed? In other words, Baron Reinhold set out one last requirement for the potential inheritor to his fortune. He wanted someone who could make Flora smile again after losing those dear to her. To that person and that person only would Baron Reinhold reveal the location of his actual fortune. Wow, that is, that is really cool. I'm not gonna ponder how that's feasible, but that is really cool. That's unbelievable, Professor, but it all makes sense now. Flora, my little Flora. Where's that voice coming from? Is that, what? Is that a recording from the Baron, or is it the actual Baron? Flora, you've made it here at last. That voice, Papa, is that you? Papa! My dear Flora, has the village watched over you as I would have? I built St. Mysterio for you so that you would never have to know true loneliness. Well, to be fair, Bruno did the actual building, but that's beside the point. In any case, if you've come this far, I suppose it's safe to assume my plan was a success. My greatest regret is that I'm not there to see you become a young woman. But please know that I want nothing more than for you to be happy. Whether the person by your side right now can give you that or not is up to you, I suppose. And to you who have found your way to my daughter's side, you have my heartiest congratulations. Few could make it through the barrage of puzzles I set before you. I imagine a person of your abilities has already caught on, but allow me to reveal Saint Mystere's secret. The secret of Saint Mystere? Recently, I was told by my physician that I don't have much time left on this earth. I can come to terms with dying, but the thought of leaving my only child alone in the world torments me. This is why I've commissioned Bruno to construct Saint Mystere. At least this way, she'll be safe and protected until she's old enough to venture to the outside world. Streets and buildings are the bones of a village, but its heart is the people who live in it. This is why I asked Bruno to create all the villagers here, as well as all the puzzles hidden within them. I've asked Matthew to make news of my death public only once Flora has grown past childhood. So, stranger, how does my beautiful little flower look now? I imagine she's blossoming into adulthood. Oh, oh so beautiful! And of course, the, the play on the, you know, the, the name Flora. Equally important to me is finding someone to whom I can entrust both my daughter and my fortune. This is why the inhabitants of St. Monsieur are constantly testing the knowledge of the visitor. If you've made it this far, it must mean that you possess both wisdom and dedication to my daughter. I'm confident that you will take good care of my fortune and Flora. This is why everything in this room, the whole of my fortune, belongs to you now. When you remove it from here, St. Mysterio will complete the objective for which it was created. I imagine the inhabitants will fall into a deep sleep from which they are never to awaken. Now wait just a minute, is he saying that if we take the treasure, all of St. Mysterio will just disappear? I honestly don't know the answer to that question, Luke. But it's possible that St. Mysterio is designed to shut down the instant we lay hand on the treasure. So if that happens, everyone will just... Stop? Just like puppets with their strings cut? I leave it to you, brave traveler. Draw the curtain on St. Mystere and lay this lifeless village to rest. Above all else, take care of my precious daughter. She's in your hands now. Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. If we even touch this treasure, all of St. Mystere will just grind to a halt. Flora. By right, this inheritance belongs to you. You should be the one to decide what's done with it. Uh, I don't want it. But why ever not, my dear? She's gonna say she wants the village. The people who live here have been with me for so long. Curious as this village is, it's watched me grow up. I want St. Mystere, my village, to stay just as it is. Forever. I see. Oh, not just a golden apple, but a golden heart, too. Then so it shall be. But what of you, Flora? Will you stay here with your village? I... I... What will she do?
And there we have it. We've solved all of the mysteries. Are you sure this is quite all right, madam? Does that mean Matthew is human too? I think so. Certainly. If leaving will make Flora happy, I'd like nothing more than to see her off with a smile. Aw, oh, they're all the villagers! Everyone's so sad. Goodbye then, little village. Oh, so sad. What an astonishing village that was, Professor Layton. Does this mean you'll be gracing the front page of the London Times again sometime soon? No, Luke. St. Mustel's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You see, my dear boy, we don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of others. <laughs> <laughs> well, one must always put a lady's needs first. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> So heartwarming. Are we going to get the credits now? Wow. We've hit the credits. Puzzle Master, Akira Tago, you are... You are wonderful. Thank you so much. Producer Akihiro Hino, thank you so much for this gem of a game. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we're gonna get to see the this picture develop on the top screen as well. Okay, so this is usually where I talk about the game. What an ending. So heartwarming to see Flora so happy. To see the Baron's just good intent and in wanting to care for his daughter so deeply. And then, of course, his daughter coming to appreciate the village she grew up with that he created for her so much. That, that she wants to forego the treasure. To see, you know, such a gentleman of a hero, Leighton, to be the one to find the treasure, to save Flora, and, and to allow her to do with the treasure and the village what she wants. To see Luke learn so much from Professor Leighton through his excellent example. To see the villagers robots, but but really, really people um, feel so saddened because they care so much about Flora. Oh man, the, the emotions are so strong. And presumably, maybe we'll find out why in a future title, Flora wants to go out to a bigger city, wants to maybe expand, or maybe she even wants to spend some time learning from Leighton like Luke has. Who knows? Maybe maybe we find out, maybe we don't. But presumably she's moving on to experience more of the world. With the safety net, of course, of Leighton himself. Oh my goodness, such a gem of a game. Um, there is no doubt that this is an excellent puzzle game, right? Um, 120 puzzles. I really only disliked a couple of them. And there were a few that I thought were a little obtuse, but with hints became doable and that it weren't my favorite. But most of them, a vast majority, were excellent puzzles, very creative, and really forced you to think in a variety of different ways. Um, I appreciated that the puzzles were varied in terms of spatial reasoning, the, the different types of block puzzles, you know, rotations, probability, um, wordplay, etc. A lot of different modes of thinking um, make these puzzles really fun. And, and the character, right? Uh, each of them being associated with a particular character offering them to you in a situation, them being hidden throughout the village, encouraging the exploration, and then each of them also being accompanied by visuals sometimes. Um, is the music really just going to end? 
Oh, no, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> um, each of them being accompanied by really cute, uh, sometimes really funny visuals that really speak so much. Um, also, oh my goodness, look at Luke with the Chelmy mask on. That's so funny. Look at Flora having a great time! Gotta protect that smile! Ugh! And yeah, the characters. The characters and this village. It's unbelievable that in this excellent puzzle game, that is where this game shines the most. Each character, from their funny names, to their silly puns, to their odd mannerisms, to the way they interact with Layton, the way they interact with each other, their feelings, they're so wonderful. They're excellent. They're very much their own people, and you really grow to love them throughout the entirety of the game. Their quirks, their, their, their great points, their, their poor points, um, you love them, and, and the village they inhabit truly has a personality to it. It truly feels like anything else. It doesn't feel like anything else, and by the time you're, you know, done going through the game, it feels like you're home. You know, you know it in and out. And each of its fun little cafes, its little, and it very much has that small village that knows itself. Right? Everybody knows each other, everybody cares about each other vibe. And each of each person is very much their own person that has their quirks. It's like, oh, that's that stash and scarf, <laughs> you know? Um, ah, it's so sad for the player, too, at this point in the game, to say goodbye to the village, to say goodbye to the characters. I truly feel sad that this game is over. And that's what tells you it was so good, that the experience was so enjoyable. And it tells you, what, why are you sad? And it's because these characters you've grown to love are are, you know, their story is complete. Obviously, except for Leighton and Luke. The sound design was incredible. I loved everything from the sound effects to the puzzle-solving music. Excellent, excellent. And look at this treasure of a The End screen. It has all the villagers. Ah, oh, The End. To be continued. So notably, we see Leighton and Luke boarding a train. They have another adventure in the future. Oh, man. Okay. Though you've reached the story's end, Professor Layton in the Curious Village is far from over. How many puzzles did you solve over the course of your adventure? Precisely 120 puzzles are hidden throughout the town, so why not try to complete every puzzle? Also, be sure to check the bonuses section. Fulfill certain conditions to unlock more bonus content. Your game will save now. When you continue, you will resume play at the top of the tower. We'll save our completed game. We'll save, uh... Overwrite that file, and you can see the little Layton, uh, the little Layton icon. But wow, yeah, as I was saying, the music is excellent. Um, just in terms of you know the town, the village, the night theme, the puzzle solving theme is great for puzzle solving. The epic moments, uh, I love what they did with the videos, the way they integrated the different cutscenes involving the characters. Um, you know, they made great use of what the DS could offer. I love this game. Um, like I said, there were really only a handful of, of puzzles I didn't like, and there were only a couple that I truly was outright um, like frustrated with or thought were like deeply flawed. Which out of 120, 120 plus, presumably because of the bonuses, um, you know that's that's still excellent. And like I said, there's so much more to love about this game than the puzzles themselves. Yeah, I. I I love this game, and I'm really looking forward to more games in this series. Um, I hope you guys are too. I know it sounds like I'm gonna end the video, but <laughs> I want to take a look at the bonuses section now. Because we've unlocked quite a bit. I don't know if there is much more for us to do in terms of the main game. I don't know if you get something for getting all like the hint coins or whatever it may be. Um, but I do want to look at the bonuses. What is top secret? Profiles, art, music? The Hidden Door. Access exclusive material here. Unlock more features by collecting pick rats. Oh, interesting. Is there anything we didn't unlock? Tap who you want to read about. This is... this is excellent bonus content! Just like, if you love these characters, which you do by this point, you can read more about them if you want. You can see their character profile and just, just stare at it if you want. Um, you can learn more about those characters. There's plenty of art. Oh, I love when games include art as a bonus. They're the different paintings, and then all of these stills. Oh my goodness. This is so great. They have all these different 
pictures throughout the entirety of the game. So that's wonderful. The music? They let you listen to the music too? Oh my goodness! That's wonderful! Imagine being able to just kind of hang out with your DS open. You can listen to all of Professor Layton from your DS. And the music, like I said, is so good. It has such great ambiance when you're going through the town, whether it's during the day or at night, and great music to think to while you're, like, uh, while you're solving puzzles. And then, of course, songs that are able to instill deep emotion when the game wants you to feel those feels. Oh, so good. We can listen to voices? <laughs> Luke, my boy. Oh, you really my goodness. think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? We can listen to... Two months ago, Baron all of the voice Augustus clips. Reinhold passed away. Wow, you can listen to all the voice clips too. We can even see the movies again? Wow. This is this is how you do bonus content. There are bonus puzzles. If you enjoyed the puzzles and you enjoyed the challenge, you have even more puzzles to do. If you enjoyed the game, you have, you know, you can read more about the characters, the world. You can relive so many of the great movies, the moments. You can enjoy the music that you've come to love throughout the entirety of the game. You can look at the art that was maybe only visible for a fleeting moment during the game, but now you can look back and appreciate with a sort of nostalgia. You can listen to the same lines. Ah. What is the hidden door? The hidden door of St. Mystere. Enter the password, which you can find in the sequel to this game. For more information, please refer to the instruction booklet. The sequel? What? Now that's a Professor Layton thing to do. <laughs> to include the answer to a puzzle in one game, in a different game completely. Wow, that is really cool. That's so cool. I'm really excited to look into that. And then we have Layton's challenges. The Puzzle Master's House. Test your wits against the hardest puzzles the professor has to offer. Do you have what it takes to solve them? So, the puzzle master's house. I would imagine we unlock that by by beating all of the other houses. Maybe, probably. <laughs> um, obviously, one of these is for completing the gizmo. One of them is for completing the inn. One of them is completing for or for completing the painting. The other one is for completing the story. Yeah, I'd imagine the Puzzle Master's house is unlocked once you've completed all of the other puzzle houses. Um, so we'll definitely do that. I mean, I'm you guys know I love the puzzles, and I always appreciate a good challenge. This sounds like it would be a great bonus episode idea. Um, going through these puzzles themselves. And then, of course, eventually, the, uh, the top secret door, or whatever it may be. Or not the hidden door, but just, yeah... Um, or no, it is the hidden door. Uh, let's see here. How long has this episode already been? It's been about half an hour. I've, you know, we finished up the game, watched a lot of the end cutscenes, the credits, gone through a lot of emotions, a lot of feels. We've had the chance to look at some of the excellent art, profiles, etc., from the entirety of the game. And we've had quite a bit of time to reflect on how beautiful this game is. So, I think this is a good stopping point. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are about this game. Did you guys enjoy the puzzles? Did you enjoy the characters? Was there anything that bothered you about this? Were they the same puzzles? Were they certain characters? Um, what were your experiences with this game? I'm really curious to hear about how you guys felt at the end and how you guys feel about what comes after, too. What are you guys' thoughts about this game in the context of the series as a whole? I know this is the first Layton game, which is crazy, because it's such a strong start, and I'd imagine it only builds from here. So, yeah, I, um, I'm i excited to see where it goes from here. And, and please do share your own stories, your own thoughts, your own feelings about this game, because um, I always eagerly look forward to them whenever I finish a game. And let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. I am definitely interested in doing those challenge puzzles. So do know that those will be coming soon uh, as bonus episodes. Bonus episode, episodes, depends on how long they take. Probably multiple episodes. You guys have that to look forward to as well. And, and I can 
very strongly, very confidently say that I will play more latent games in the future. I know there are a few <laughs> series on my channel that I haven't gotten quite or haven't gotten quite to the sequels I wanted to yet, but but I love this game and I definitely want to play more and it seems you guys have enjoyed it as well. So I can definitely say that there will be more latent on the channel in the future. If you did enjoy this game, please do check out other series on my channel. I think that if you liked puzzles, if you liked the mystery aspect, um, you would probably like the Danganronpa series on my channel. It definitely has some more mature, more grim themes. It has a bit more of an anime style, um, and it's a bit longer. It involves a lot more dialogue, but it's also truly a gem. And even if you're not necessarily interested in anything else my channel has to offer, um, please do consider subscribing to stick around for future latent games and and more series, more puzzle-based series in the future, uh, because this was this was an absolute blast. And again, thank you guys so much for your support throughout the entirety of the series. The strong start and the maintained fervor for the series, the puzzles, the village throughout the entirety of you know me playing the game. It always makes it so much more fun when I know you guys are with me for the journey. Whether that's sharing random little facts, little bits of guidance to help me enjoy the game a little bit more, and then of course sharing your own experiences as we experience things through the game together. Um, it, it, makes, it makes the game so much more enjoyable, and that's part of why I do YouTube in the first place. Um, I love having a community that's passionate about the games we're playing, and, um, and that wouldn't be possible without you guys. So. Thank you so much again, and I think I'll call it at that. I look forward to seeing you guys in the bonus episodes for these, you know, particularly tough challenges. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>